we just got checked in at room Stratford and we're now about to go on something that we're possibly both regretting a little bit because it looks very high up the orbital um, which is not far down the road maybe about 15 20 minute walk and basically it's a massive slide uh, Nick's not so sure on it I'm not so sure on it now but I know a few people have done it and I kind of think well if you've done it I'm gonna be fine I think so that's it over there it's quite large I'm not so sure about this <laughs> So we're just getting some food before we go, which is probably not a wise move. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> well. I just, I just asked him, are we still? Are you recording? Yeah. Well, yeah. oh, it's pretty close. <laughs> Exciting. Unfortunately, we couldn't take you on the ride with us um, because you need to use the GoPros that are provided here. However, we both really enjoyed that, didn't we? Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, so we're going to the viewing point now and hopefully this will um, show you how high up we actually were. It was great fun though, so I really recommend coming. does sound like you'd like it then. Yeah. Light and super fresh pear with multi undertones of shortbread and biscuit, gooseberries and grape. So as we said, we didn't actually film on the slide unfortunately because they don't let you take your personal cameras onto the slide um, because they charge you to use theirs. So they do have GoPros if you want to use one, but it will come at an extra cost of 15 pounds. So if you're paying, I think it was 15 or 16 pounds for a ticket and then you've got another 15 pounds on top, it can become quite, obviously quite expensive. So unfortunately, I haven't been able to give you a little showing of how, how the slide was, but it was quite entertaining. I went first, which is not, it's quite bold for me. Normally I, I don't do things first, I made Nick wait. Um, went first and apparently I squealed on the way down. There is a little bit of a drop, so. <laughs> So um, it did make me made me jump actually. So I squealed, but it was great fun. It was such a fun ride. I'd highly recommend going if you're in the area. A uh, little bit of fun. And now we are at a local brewery. We're at Crate Brewery, and we're just having some uh, home brewed um, beers, which is a really nice way to reward ourselves after doing something quite scary. Because it was quite a way up. I think it was 455 steps 
up um, to it. I can't remember how. 112 meters, um, so pretty high up. So we're rewarding ourselves, of course. So once we've had our beers, we'll probably take a bit of a bumble back to rooms in Stratford and um, get ourselves ready to go to Roof East to have a rooftop out outdoor viewing of my favorite film, Ghostbusters, the 1984 number one version. Um, so we're gonna go do that, and apparently we've got loads of games upstairs, some street food, and yeah, so just exploring more of this area. So we're at the Bruce East and we're here having some drinks and we're about to have some burgers and we're waiting to watch Ghostbusters at the uh, cinema. I'm a real boss. We've just been playing with the beanbags, it's been amazing. Brooksy! Hello, Brooksy! Hello, Brooksy! Hello, So, as you can see, we're in the, um, it's like an apart hotel. So, we've got all these extra little bits and bobs, and obviously, I'm just making me and Nick a cup of coffee, even though we're going to have coffee downstairs, mugs and stuff. Obviously, you've got your microwave. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, so, we have utensils and stuff. And then in here, you've got your big fridge. I have a little freezer. I've been here for a few days. This is pretty cool. And I just discovered there's a dishwasher. That'd be why there's a dishwasher tablet there. Um, and there's a deli downstairs should you need anything else. So it's pretty cool. Had an awesome night last night and we are now up. We're going to take a quick stroll to Westfields because I actually need some more socks because I've run out of socks. And Nick needs some joggers of some description because we've got a BMX um, session this morning, which is going to be interesting. And yeah, so that's going to be good. We're going to go do that and check out of our hotel and then go and see what it's all about. But first, we're having some coffee that's free downstairs and we've both just demolished a croissant each, obviously. We're here at the Lee Valley Velo Park and we're just about to do a BMX tasting session. BMX taster session. Um, it was really good, really hard. Nick was the ripper of the group, really, really good. Um, yeah, just a bit of fun, really. It's absolutely boiling, you have to wear. You've got to remember if you're doing this, you need to bring like long leggings, like gym leggings, like I've got some trainers and a long sleeve top. You also need gloves, you have to bring them yourselves, they don't provide them. But you'll get your helmet. Um, and bring some water is a is a big tip it's very hot <laughs> but really good right home time now and it's really hot and nick's doing really well with driving just stopped off on the way to get an iced coffee but it's been really good going to stratford we stayed in one place as well didn't go into central london which we normally would do stayed in the area and we had so much to do to the point we're gonna go back um for world travel market and stay in the area and try and go around a few more things like I think Nick wants to go use the velodrome 
Mm -hmm. um, not my cup of tea, but Nate wants to do it. I might get swayed, who knows, by that time, but uh, I want to try that out. And yeah, and just explore the area a little bit more. Open air pool in Hackney. What's that, open air pool? Yeah, in Hackney. Okay, yeah, so that too. Not sure about November. But yeah, so well. there's lots of the bits you can do. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've enjoyed seeing what rooms is like and thanks to them for letting us stay. So that's it from us. Bye. <laughs>